And today in studio, I am not alone. I am with Masindi Managa. How are you doing, Masindi? I am good, thanks. And you? <laughs> I am doing great. I'm doing great. Listen, we've been having so many, uh, so many. We've had so many, so a lot of things that we're talking about off air, and I just feel like I've even ran out. And I still have so many other questions, but I've ran out as well because this girl is a smart girl, and you can hear from the way she talks that she's a smart girl. And this lady has got a book. It's called Adore. And before we even get into anything, this book was sold for a, for 5,600 Rand in an auction. And for me, that was like, how on earth did that even happen? How is a book selling for 5,600 Rand at home? And I like the fact that, you know, this happened, the auction happened, because then it allows more people to be able to see that um, we've got young writers and also that we do value the work that young kids or young people are able to provide for us. And now I want you to take us through your journey. How did you know that you were a writer? Like, how were you even able to trust that you could actually start writing? Honestly speaking, um, I didn't really, it, it wasn't something that I knew that I was mm -hmm. a writer. Um, and at times I would say that when I would write, I would doubt myself and be like, yeah. no, I, I, this possibly couldn't be my talent. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, but then I started writing when I was in grade five, around the age of 11. Mm. Um, I would come back from school, take out a diary and start writing. And they would, they, it started off as monologues, which means long pieces of writings. Yeah. And I, I didn't really understand it at, at, at first, what I was writing. Mm. It was just the whole get the thoughts out of my mind and put it somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. And as the years went on, I actually started realizing that this is not just writing. This is a gift of, from God. And it's not just a gift from God. It's a gift that he gave to me to share to the people. Yeah. So people can see just maybe a different way of thinking in, like up on things, you know, because yeah. sometimes we all have like ways of thinking but then <laughs> they can be that one thing that can help someone yeah so i guess that's why it gave me this talent yeah so what is it that inspires you to write whatever it is that you're writing there's no specific thing yeah it could be from a conversation it could be from watching a movie mm. from just observing the atmosphere yeah mm. Mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit about adore which sold its first copy was sold for 5600 rand which is quite a lot of money how did you feel when your book went for auction actually take me back to when it actually started when did you know that you're going to launch a book and when did you know that there's going to be an auction for your first copy of this book it has to be two weeks before the launch which was on the 8th of may 2021 mm -hmm. um the whole auction thing my mom said it uh, i didn't believe it yeah. I, it just sounded weird crazy fun but awesome yeah. and at the same time exhilarating yeah. you know and i didn't really expect it to go the way it went but at that moment i was like wow is this really happening yeah can i just pinch myself <laughs> and wake up because this is like a dream yeah yeah then people were actually fighting for your book so if someone is like 500 and then somebody's like a thousand rand and someone is like 2500 yeah as funny as it may sound yes yeah. it was like i was watching a movie you know when you're looking at auctions and tvs and it's like huh i would like to attend that yeah i was attending it but it was like i'm watching it at yeah. home I'm trying yeah to, i'm also gonna see you write about that one day just maybe you never know <laughs> <laughs> all right so take us into the book as well i see it's uh you write poetry so is it is that the only thing you write or you also write like stories and you know I write poetry, mm -hmm. but then I might just be thinking of trying out to write stories. Mm. But if it doesn't work out, well, I'll just mm. have to stay with poetry. Mm. And you asked that I should tell you about the book. Yes. Ada, okay. Ada means great warmth or passion. And I believe this definition is explored through different themes such as nature, mm. love, hope, and furthermore, Mm. Yes, that's what I would say the book is about. Mm. And I could say this, but then if you read it, you could actually say something different. And yeah. I'm quite open to hearing something different mm. about it. Mm. Yes. And when you and I were talking off A, it seems like writing this book was not much of a hassle for you. Because it seems like you just collected some of the things that you had written, some of your favorite uh, pieces. And then they were put together and published in a book. 
So if someone is asking themselves out there on how they could actually get there, because there, there is such a thing as writer's block, yes. do you even experience that since you just flow and just write and then just collect all the amazing stuff you write and then publish a book that sells for 5,600 rand? <laughs> I'm not going to get over that. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, as much as the book is there and you can just see it, yeah. and it seems like it might have been easy for me to write, there were times where I was sitting and I was writing and I was like, oh, this is not going well. Just take the paper, I tear it, I throw it, yeah. and I try, and it'd be like countless of papers until I feel like, no, you know what, I should give up. But my sister was there, and she's like, no, this is your talent. God gave you yeah. in order for you to do something, so don't give up. Continue yeah. until you get something there. So it, I do experience it. Yeah, you do <laughs> experience like the writer's block. Yes. Okay. So, do you see yourself publishing anything moving along, or this is it, or do you want to write a book, or do you want to maybe turn it into a screenplay? I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I, I haven't thought that far yet. Yeah. I just want this to go with the flow. Mm. I believe that God will take me to where He wants me to take this. Mm. So I'll just leave it up to Him to take me to where He wants to take me. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if somebody wants to get themselves this copy of Adore, where can they get it, and how much does it cost? Well, you can always follow the book, um, the page on Facebook, which is Ado Masindi Managa, or you can contact my mom on 083-9946-304, or my dad on 073-5611-696. And for a copy, it costs 200 rand. Yeah, not 5,600 rand. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Masindi. Thank you. This is amazing, and I wish you well. I really, really do. I cannot wait to see you win awards, travel all over the world. And because you write poetry, do you actually recite the poetry that you write? Or for you, it's just writing and that's it? Writing and that's it. That's it. But then I do get those times where I actually recite, but it's not much of a norm yeah. with the things, you know, education on the side and you have to concentrate, yeah. make sure you're yeah. on a list. Yeah. And talking about education, you know, there are some people who are passionate about things mm -hmm. and they want to take it further in their education or studying in you know when they go to university and stuff like that you're just 16 years old meaning that you're actually still very very young mm -hmm. you're, you're in grade 11 now do you intend on also studying you know maybe literature uh, and learn more about writing and words and all these stuff or you are passionate about something else when i was young mm -hmm. um i always thought that i would get a career but have poetry as a side thing yeah. it wasn't something that i would want to I, I didn't see myself sitting and doing that as like a career mm. you no know? so for me i'm passionate about I, I would love to say i'm passionate about calculations i love calculating yeah. as stressful as it is and as jumbled up the as the numbers can get yeah. i love that it's nice so i would say I, I would want to pursue something that has to do with calculations yeah yes all right thank you so much Masini. i wish you the best in your journey and enjoy the rest of your writing journey. I can't wait to read all the books. I hope every single time you publish a book, you'll also come because I won't be able to, you know, uh, bid for a 10,000 Rand or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't let you off the loop. I'll thank make sure. So all right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That is Masili Managa, who is the writer of this amazing book called Adore. And listen, I'm going to read it. I went through it a little bit and I loved every single bit that I saw. So I'm excited to read the rest of it. And do make sure that you go to a Facebook and order your own copy and enjoy reading this amazing script. But yeah, right now let's get back to more music. Coming up next is Major League DJs coming through with Dina Lady.